I mean... <laughs> what is that, Mick? <laughs> it can only be one thing. <laughs> what do you think, huh? Oh, what a surprise. Uh, well, it is a surprise. Uh, great to see you. Hey, it's great to see you. You can have a seat here. Uh, like a beer, no, Michael? that's it. We'll see you no, later. No, no, no. You sit. Michael. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. here. <laughs> no, uh, thank you. Have that a seat, good. please. Yeah. Thank that was good. very much. Uh, my, the goal last my night. My musician did not show up for my <laughs> No. <laughs> it, who was your musician, by the way? No, I had no <laughs> musician. Right. Organ grinder. Uh, An organ grinder. As long as, I, as long as I'm talking musicians, it only looks like I'm wearing the same vest. The, the vest last time was Bruce Springsteen. This is now Grace Potter. Yeah. And that's which the lions is it stitching, or is nah, it actually a new one? I realized that Bruce didn't need the PR and that I would be more or less a walking billboard for Grace Potter. So, so just to confirm, yeah. you guys obviously have known each other for years, but yeah. you've never been in the ring together wrestling. Like, do, you, do we count what happened at 4.30 a.m. in Caven Rock, Illinois uh, in August? We were part of a show that this ended past August. Yeah, at Caven Rock, Illinois, which although it's in Illinois, I officially count as in the southern part of the United States. Like, Definitely. We were in the south, and uh, 4.30 a.m., Hot Rod was uh, in the last match with Terry Funk. I was, uh, <laughs> I was doing the color commentating. Uh, they were doing a number on my, my, my mentor, Terry Funk. You know what was interesting when you were walking? By the way, Mike, thanks very much for the bagpipes. Uh, people can go to your website, and they can, uh, you, you'll bagpipe anyone in, right? Yeah. Awesome. You used to walk in really slowly, didn't you? You used to yeah. saunter in. And I heard the reason was that you wanted the announcers to have more time to talk about you as you were walking in. Well, there's, yeah, there's a couple of reasons. One, if you see a man that walks slow, uh, it emulates confidence and everybody right. looks at him. But two, like Jesse Ventura would be talking about Aunt Jemima and, you know, Vince would be talking about something else and I just wait and they'd finally run out of stuff to talk about. By the time I got there, they had to talk about me. <laughs> and is it true that you used to count the house as well? Because you would get oh, yeah. based on that. You know, like back in the day, I, I'd have a counter. I got pretty good, but I, I could do it, but I'd, yeah. And the only one time uh, I... Uh, I was in the main event, and you know, this is back where it was the last of the gorgeous George guys mm -hmm. hanging out. And uh, one time I went through and I saw their faces, they were so sad, because this promoter gave them a real bad count. And intermission came, and I put my clothes back on, <laughs> and I grabbed my hell burden, and when they came back on, I walked out in the middle of the ring, I said, ladies and gentlemen, the promoter won't pay the money he promised to all these guys, so I suggest you get it get your money back and I walked out the front door and I heard it was one of the greatest riots up here they ever had. <laughs> were you aware of how many people were there based on, I mean this would have been in the early days, right? Okay, they, you're not talking about last night because I could have done an accurate count very quickly. Were you doing comedy last night? Last night? <laughs> well, let's tell people what we're doing now. You have the uh, uh, Mick Foley's hardcore comedy, right? Right, right. And tonight you're going to be at the Underground Cinema that's uh, 186 Spadina yeah, in Toronto. Yeah, we are expecting, based on pre-sales, we're expecting a really nice crowd. Uh, in Toronto last night, it wasn't a small crowd, it was an intimate audience. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference. I, I, I want to say something, I know we're going fast, but I want to say something. I have so much respect for Mick, i tell you why. Well, just, I wrote a book, Mick was the pioneer of that. Mm -hmm. I wrote a book when I was in Times Square and not asked nothing, he came down to support me. One time I'm watching him in the dressing room with his little boy, not only is he, he's, he's a great daddy, Thank and you. uh, he stands his ground all the time. I have a tremendous amount of respect for Mr. Ford. Uh, that was, a, what that was a great day for us, because up until right. that point when I, when I came to Roddy's uh, signing in Times Square, we knew each other, but I wouldn't say we were yeah. friends. And then that like one moment was a, a defining moment in our relationship. Yeah. yeah, so uh, I think we look at each well, other as kind of kindred souls, Michael. Mm -hmm. well, well, you know, when you hear that bagpipe, it's time to start the Maple Leaf season or the Scott Tournament Hearts of the Fire. More in a moment.